Welcome to the Chimpanzee video series. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create and manage characters and elements. In the first lesson, we learned how easy it was to create scenes and attach those scenes to shoot days. If you import your screenplay into Chimpanzee, your characters will also be imported. But it is also possible to create and, of course, modify characters. Let's select our schedule. We are taken to the main screen, which is the Scenes screen. Click on the Characters button on the toolbar. This will take you to the character screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a list of all your characters. Select one to make it active. On the main window, you will see details for the character selected. You can enter character description, type, age, and other information about your character here. And here, you can see and modify the scenes attached to that character. For example, let's say we want to remove this scene from this character. Simply select the red X for this scene row. This does not delete the scene. If we move this window to see the Scenes window behind it, notice it does not remove the scene. It simply removes this scene from this character. If you want to add a scene to a character, select the green Add button above the Scene section. Select a scene, then close the window. On the right-hand side of the screen, you will see which shoot days require the character. Notice you cannot add a shoot day to a character. The proper procedure is to add a scene to a character. If that scene is attached to a shoot day, it will appear here. So, for example, if I remove this scene, which is scheduled for this shoot day, that shoot day will also be removed from this character. Let's delete a character. In the previous lesson, we created a character in the Scenes screen. To delete a character, make it active by selecting it. From the Characters menu, select Delete Character. Next, let's add a new character. Select the green Add button. Type in the name of the character in the Character field. You can also assign the character a board or a character ID. This is useful for call sheets. You can manually enter the number here, or you can have Chimpanzee automatically assign character IDs based on how many scenes they are in. From the Tools menu, select Update Character IDs. Now that you've created a new character, you can add scenes to that character. The next thing we are going to go over is how to add and manage elements. What is an element? An element is anything you require to be in the scene. This includes props, costumes, makeup, and set dressing. Let's close the character's window and select the Elements button from the toolbar. This will take you to the Elements screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a list of all your elements for the schedule and the category they are attached to. You can sort this list by category or by element name. To select an element, click on it. You can then modify information for this element in the main screen. Here you can enter notes for that element, and down here you can add scenes to that element by clicking on the green Add button and then selecting a scene. Let's go ahead and add a new element. Click on the green Add button on top of the elements list. Enter the name of the new element, then attach it to a category. Now, let's add a picture to this element. Select the Camera button. Find a picture from your hard drive. 
then select Insert. If you want, enter a short description for the new element, then click Done. You can add multiple pictures to any element. Now that the element is created, you can add it to a scene. Let's take a quick look at Element Categories. From the Edit menu, select Manage Categories. When you create a schedule, Chimpanzee comes preset with 21 element categories. You can add your own or modify the presets. To modify the name of the category, select the pencil button next to the name of the category. Enter a new name for the category, then close the window. Now let's add a new category. Select the green Add button. Enter a new category name and click OK. Scroll down to the bottom of the list. Select the pencil button to edit the category. You can assign the category a color. Once this is done, you can now add elements to that new category. To print a list of all your elements summarized by the category, select Elements, then Print. Select the Scheduling Module, then the Art Department Report. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot!